I'm going to do is, okay, the cat, the cat knows this is his dish, so he's up here, is measure the bowl. Now, if you have large or medium kind of messy eating dogs where it just splashes all over you're really going to make a much broader one than what I'm about to suggest so think about your needs now if you look at this my starting chain is going to be coming from this side so this is about six inches and I'm going to add three inches to either side so that's going to give me a about a 12 inch width. So my starting chain is going to be this amount. And I'm going to work it until I've got three inches either way on this side. So this is, looks like it's about 15 inches. Yep, there we go, 15 inches. I'm going to make it um, 15 plus six, what's that, 21 inches. So mine's going to be 12 by 21 plus a border. So to start my, what did I say, 12 inch chain, I'm doing the linked stitch because it's dense, it's attractive, and it's going to be absorbent for the spills. And I'm using two colors. So I have gray, this is sugar and cream in, I think it's charcoal or graphite. I have a, the five ounce size, this should be enough. And then I'm going to do the border in just another color cotton that I have. I may regret this because I have whitish colored cats, but that's okay. So I'm just going to chain enough to equal about 12 inches. And since it's all single crochet, you can kind of stick with what your starting measurement is and that will work just fine because it's not going to shrink up as you work from the foundation row. And the stitch count doesn't matter because it's just going by length and you'll maintain that same stitch count throughout. And I'm using a six millimeter hook for the category four yarn. I wouldn't go any smaller than this because the linked stitch is just a little bit dense and it can get tight if you go too loose. And if you go too small, of course, it's going to be very stiff, which I suppose for a mat, that would be okay. But I'm going to do six millimeter. Just a few more. Poor kitty bird outside the window. Right. Okay, two or three more. Okay. One more is my turn team. And if your mats get dirty a lot, you might want to make more than one. So you can switch it out until it's laundry day. All right, so from here, I'm going to skip that first stitch and work. Linked single crochet across the row. So the first stitch is just single crochet. And from there, go back into that same stitch, pull up a loop, go into the next stitch, pull up another loop, three loops on the hook, and pull through. Go into the stitch I was just working in, pull up a loop, next stitch, go in there, see how it's linking it to the previous stitch. Pull up a loop again, Pull through all three, and that links the two stitches together. Go into the same stitch, go into the next stitch,
Having trouble seeing it. There it is. And all through all three. So I'm going to work that across and then I'll come back at the end of the row. All right, so I finished working across my hand stitches in the middle. Double check my measurement. Really shouldn't shrink up too much. Let me first. Yeah, I'm just one stitch past the 12. Better too big than too small with this particular project. Okay, so I'm going to repeat the same thing on this row that I did. So chain one and turn. Then you do your first stitch, just regular single crochet. Then, just like you've been doing, go back into that same stitch you just worked. Pull up a loop before going into the next stitch, linking the two together. Turn over, pull through all three. Go into the same stitch, pull up before going into the next on hook and pull through all three. So I'm going to work across until I reach that 21 inch measurement that is the length of the pet bowl. And then I'll be back to show you how to work the border. Okay, so I've got my mat size where I want it. This will be for the pet fountain. And I'm ready to do my contrast color. So I put the same hook and I want to do a whimsical border but also a border that looks like it's a little bit raised. So I'm going to alternate single crochet and a puff stitch. So I'm insert my yarn and do my single crochet. Next stitch, yarn over once, pull up a loop, three loops, yarn over again, same stitch, pull up another loop, five loops, and one more time. Go in again, pull up a loop, now there's seven, yarn over, pull through all three. Next stitch is a single crochet, then another puff. Yarn over, go in, pull up a loop, three, Go in again, oops, five loops, yarn over again, go in, seven loops, yarn over, pull through all seven. Single crochet next, where's that stitch? It can be a little tricky sometimes with the linked single crochet when you're working down the side. Single crochet, then a puff, three, yarn over again, five loops on the hook, yarn over again, go into the stitch, pull up, there's seven, yarn over, pull through all seven. Let me work a few more and come to the corner, and we'll work the corner together. Three, yarn over, pull up a loop, five, yarn over, pull up another loop, seven on hook, pull through all seven. All right, so I'm coming up to a corner here. I've just made my puff stitch, and here's my corner stitch. I'm going to work just three regular single crochet in here, no puffs. again. Right, so I'm coming up on my very last corner and I will just finish by putting 
my three single crochet in this corner. And I'm going to slip stitch at the very end. Oops, the yarn split. And it's ready to absorb all those little splashes of food or water from your pet bowl.